everybody, Dina Wakely here at Creativation 2020. I've been doing a lot of demos and a lot of lives and I think I'm getting repetitive. So this one I'm gonna do something I haven't done yet and listen to an announcement. She is annoying. Anyway, so I'm going to talk about using the sprays in your journal. Uh, this is the new blue edition journal and there's really no difference using the sprays on a tag versus in your journal. They will not make your journal stick together. The gloss sprays will not stick your pages together because even though they are glossy, um, they're not so glossy that they're like a, you know, shellac or something on there. They've got a sheen to them, but not, you know, it's not like a giant resin coating or something like that. So my, my pages have not been sticking together at all. The, what's great about this tag, oh, she left it. I signed it to somebody and she left it. Suzanne left her tag. Um, this is my white acrylic, and that shows how these sprays are not reactive, meaning once they're dry, you can paint white on top of them and it will not um, bleed through. We've already got awesome reactive sprays out there in the line. We, you know, do you need another one? No, you need something that's not reactive. So that's why these are not reactive. So one of the fun things about the new blue edition of the journal is that it has, it still has burlap for all of you haters out there. <laughs> still has burlap. It's okay if you don't like the burlap. I totally understand. You can always cut it out. Um, staple tags to it. But because it's nice and white, well, creamy, really. Um, it's going to make the colors really pop more than the brown burlap did. And the colors work great. The sprays work awesome on the burlap. So let's spray the burlap. Now the, the bonus of spraying the burlap, guess what else happens on this side? So you end up with a background here, which I like and looks really interesting. So if you don't want the, the spray to go through to the background, just pop a sheet of cardstock or something in there. But I like it. I feel like it's two for one in a way. So I don't know if, if Kelly can show you my table. I promise I'm not a hoarder, but this is how I work. I work with a pile of stuff on my right hand side. I really do. So my right hand side has all of my creative zhuzhing. And then when I need something, I am like, oh, well, that's perfect. That tag with, oh yeah, that's, you know, and every now and then I just throw everything on my right side in the garbage. <laughs> if my bin, I have a bin for stuff like this too. If my bin's too full, uh, the rest of it goes in the bin, so, or in the garbage bin. All right, so let's spray with a stencil first. So what I'm digging over here for is a stencil. I saw them. Ha ha ha, here we go. My very clean stencils, they're fantastic. Okay, so these nice big stencils, these stencils are not super detailed, so they're gonna be easy to spray through. Remember that these sprays are not the spray for fine detail because they're thick, you've gotta shake them up and you've gotta mix that pigment. So it works great. I mean, look, look how that pops. So then later I might wanna come back when that's drier, maybe a tag goes on there. This one is amazing. Maybe that goes on and that because, you know, I stamp. They really want people to go to that class and I don't know if anyone's going. It's like the second announcement. Um, so, you know, stamp on your gloss spray with archival ink, paint on it, draw, you know, whatever you want to do, you've got this great spray. Let's add a little bit more because I feel like it. <laughs> it is, isn't it? A little bit. Layer some stencils maybe a little bit. And I'm going to say to everybody watching on the live, um, share the video and we're going to send um, two people a new Blue Edition journal. Oh my gosh, how cool. Because I'm feeling super generous at this show. I'm just giving everything away. <laughs> but keep me sharing and we'll pick two people um, later on to receive it. That's so journal. cool. So share the video, get if you could possibly win a journal. So just like on paper, how you would layer your colors and layer your sprays and layer your stencils, that works exactly the same on the burlap. Um, now look, isn't that so, so beautiful? So remember the gloss sprays will resist each other um, once they start soaking in. 
And so I would kind of let that dry for a minute. To know whether or not something's dry, touch it with the back of your hand. If it's cold, it's wet, right? If it feels cold, it's wet. But I'm going to add a little more spray and I'm gonna mix it with a bit of water. I, uh, Tim walked by and laughed at my distress sprayer. <laughs> He's like, he once uh, made me, asked me, didn't make me do anything, but he asked me to give him one, a pair of tonic scissors that looked like this. So he was like, I need that sprayer to go with my scissors. So just like um, other acrylics, you can thin these sprays down with water because they are water-based. So I could have left that blue nice and thick at the top of that page, but by adding water, I am thinning it out, turning it more, transparent and more like more like a watercolor layer actually and look how that spray that originally went through the burlap can you see how it's resisting Isn't that cool so two for one you end up with a background here and then you also end up with a background here and when that's dry nothing will stick together if, if I just coat a page with spray let's just coat a page for kicks why not I've already I've already made the biggest hot mess today earlier took this bottle I thought it was almost empty and I said oh I love the ball bearings in these because I'll like roll them around on things so I went like I opened it up and I went like this and it was not very empty just so you know and I ended up with like like you know Noah Noah's Ark flood going on I was like holy crap so anywho that's why my hands are still uh, coated in blue what's my point did I have a point we're gonna, we're gonna keep a making a mess century. yeah <laughs> because I've already been doing it today. So I'm going to saturate this page. Notice that, that white. So that white was from this stencil. So I sprayed this stencil in white gloss spray on the burlap. Then I flipped it over and pressed it here. Well, because it's on that page, now that's going to act like a resist. <laughs> You can leave it like that and let it do its work its magic. I'm gonna blot some of that excess off with just my white tags. Oh, hello lover. <laughs> Let's do another couple. Cause if you're gonna blot, I mean, yeah, sometimes I do use paper towels to blot, it's nice and easy, but you are wasting product, right? I have that in other books. Yeah, another book would work. Kind of like Diane does that tag to tag on hers. So there's my, you know, yet another beautiful background um, done really quickly with the gloss sprays. Now, if I want to, if that were dry, I want to come back. My acrylic goes on top of that like like a butter, like a dream. Scrubble sticks work great right on top of this. Right now it's wet, so I do need to hold off for a second. But two two different looks as well with the sprays. You can thin them with water, keep them nice and thick and vibrant. Now, while that dries, let's go back to this puppy. Where do we think my paper towels went? Aha! Uh -huh. In the pile. I'm only blotting it because I want to show you what it's like when you spray on this again. Two turquoise. So that spray that's down there is going to be resist. It's going to resist the turquoise. Do another blot, and it just creates that really cool effect. That's how I did all of these. Just changing your, making your color choices a little bit different. Isn't that fun? Easy, easy and fun to do. So I hope you guys liked it. Any questions, concerns? You just gotta play. They love the tag. They love the colors. They love the burlap. Yay! They love Dina. Oh, and they very, love Dina. Very yes. good. Yes. Well, I hope you guys get the new blue journal and play with it and let me know what you think. Remember to share your work.
hashtag Dina Wakely Media. To remind you, my name is spelled W-A-K-L-E-Y. This is why Diane calls me Dina Wackley, because that's how it looks, but my name is Dina Wakely, okay? I follow that hashtag. Do you guys follow it too? So Ranger also follows that hashtag, which means when you hashtag your items, your posts with that hashtag, we see them. And then every now and then somebody will somebody will say things to me like, oh, thank you for the box of stuff. And I'm like, um, you're welcome. <laughs> it's Ranger. Ranger is, is, is spying on you in a good way. They're watching those hashtags when you're using stuff, especially if you use it differently than I do, because I can do me. They don't need another me. They need a you. So use the stuff, share hashtags so we can see it, we can love on it. And you might end up with a box. And before Someday. we go, someone wants to know about um, keeping the nozzles unclogged. So I, I have had really good luck with them not clogging. The times when they have clogged on me are, are when I've left the lids off. So you want to keep the lid on the bottle if you can, because I think it just pre prevents the, that hole and, and the, the, the paint that's inside the hole from getting hard. Um, every now and then you'll get a skin on top of your nozzle so you just have to scratch it off with your finger. The other way to make sure they don't um, clog is make sure you shake them before you spray them. Because there's a lot of pigment, like spray paint at the hardware store, there's a lot of pigment down there at the bottom that needs to be mixed. If they're mixed properly, then you're not going to get an excess amount of powdered pigment inside the, the stem. So I, I've, been, had, I've had maybe one or two clog that I couldn't resurrect and they were usually because I had left the lids off. So you really will, I, I don't think you'll clog a ton on you. I really don't. Okay. So, well, thanks, Tina. Thanks, guys.